Hello, my name's Claire Balding and this is Amy. And I first met Amy when she was about six years old. She's 12 now. I got to know her and her mother, Sean, and realized how difficult it is for families who have a child that has quite severe disabilities to go anywhere to allow that child and the rest of the family to really enjoy their playtime. It's so important for them to interact, for them to be able to relax completely, for the families to have somewhere they can go as well, for her sister Holly to be able to relax and enjoy herself. And nowhere in West Berkshire yeah. is there a facility that would help them every day of the week, every weekend of the year, all through the school holidays. And that's what we aim with Swings and Smiles to build so that it's local to West Berkshire, so that it can really help lots of different children of different ages with a range of disabilities. Children with special needs, special is, is the word, word, they do need special facilities. They need, a lot of them obviously still need to be changed, they're wearing nappies, so they need loos that are clean and that have the right facilities in them and this isn't like changing a baby you know they're, they're pretty big they're pretty big kids they also need special slides and swings and things that they're not going to hurt themselves on um, if they haven't got all of their functioning capabilities if they are a bit wild with their movement for example they need to be strapped in as she would be on a roundabout um, so they need things that are built specially for them and in terms of the indoor facilities a sensory room is very important that can stimulate them orally and also things that they can touch that they enjoy and lights that keep them entertained so I think it's you know these things cost money to build they're very specific um, facilities and it needs to be done by people who understand exactly what the kids need and what the families need as well they need somewhere they can feel safe and to be honest also can feel that they're not constantly being looked at by everybody else. So we're aiming to raise in the region of £400,000 uh, and that's just to get the thing off the ground. So we really need volunteers, we need people with good fundraising ideas, we need people that are willing to help, um, whether it be financially or with their time or with their imagination. And one more thing, now that you're on the website, do take the chance to look at it in more detail and you'll find ways of contacting us and offering us your support.